Hello folks, this video I'll be exhibiting you how to pull out data from any said website to your Excel worksheet. For that to do, firstly go to the Excel worksheet you want to fetch data in. I'm using by the way the Office Excel 2007 so the menus may look different if you use a different format though all the functionality should be same now go to the data tab under which you will find from web button click on the from web button here underneath you can see get external data from web which is our purpose and clicking on the button you will re be redirected to a new window called new web query window and there pops up a message called an error has occurred in the script on this page that should not bother us anyway so click yes to ignore the message then go to the address bar type the website address you want to fetch data from delete the field first say I wanna I wanna type the website address uh, of say www.cricketrecords.com that is the website I intend to pull out the data from then click on go and here we are we have landed on to cricketrecords.com and you will find certain categories on your left say it is cricket world cup cricket i chose world cup cricket by the way and under world cup cricket you will find different subcategories like team records batting records bowling records with keeping records and miscellaneous records and there are several types under each subcategories say I want to choose most runs specification under batting categories batting records categories by the way so I chose the specification called most runs clicking on that and there you are it appears with the listings of the player's name, match, innings, runs, highest scores, hundreds and averages. All the data you require. Now there is a vital point to look up to. You can see on the on the yellow background a uh, black arrowhead is there and you will see on each data field the black arrowhead with the yellow background by clicking on this black arrowhead I chose the field called most runs code and as soon as I clicked over there the yellow background turned green and the check mark certainly appears then I click on import and as soon as I import it asks me where do I want to put this data I select the cell and click OK the data transmitting option is getting underway and there you are all the details of the details are being brought onto your Excel worksheet now you can update or you can get the latest of these data by clicking right clicking on the menu then go to the option data range properties clicking on data range properties you will be directed to refresh controls under which you will get a box called uh, refresh every certain number of minutes I checked that box and make it 15 minutes 
that suggests that I intend to get the latest updates on data on every 15 minutes or you can do that so by clicking right click